Hey guys, Sealy here. Today I'm going to be opening up another pop vinyl. And I know what you're thinking. Where's the pop vinyl? Um, this one actually, just so you, to give you guys fair warning, I actually have opened this one previously, but I want to actually just review it because it's part of the my pop vinyl series. I'm not running out of pops or anything, I just wanted to do um, Kid Goku next. And this is the Goku and Flying Nimbus. And um, yeah, the figure's over there. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just quickly show you the box. Um, one thing I will note is I could have technically put it back in the box, but the problem I'm having with this one, um, for this box, it's my only box like this, but it's kind of screwed up. It's falling apart, so it kind of comes apart. But anyway, nothing special, just number 109. Send the name of the pop picture of Goku there, and with the back, um, to be honest, there's not really too much going on actually. Um, uh, it's just uh, showing you the Goku and Flying Nimbus, which is this one, and Bulma, those are the two Dragon Ball pop vinyls from the original Dragon Ball series. And yeah, with that out of the way, let's begin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's falling apart, so not good. <laughs> I'll just pop this over there, not over here. And here is Kid Goku. And one thing I'll say straight off the bat is um, I really like the design of this one. I think they really nailed it. Sorry, my finger <laughs> it was just in the view. But um, yeah, so it's got so they got Goku's hair down. <laughs> um, that looks really good. Um, there isn't too much to do with the face, he just kind of looks generic, pops. But yeah, they got his training clothes really well done there. I'm just going to put it up for the lights so you can see it. They got the white belt everything, and they got the um, power pole, the red power pole, which is awesome. And um, obviously he's on the flying Nimbus. <laughs> Nimbus actually looks really awesome in this pop vinyl, in my opinion. Just turning it around for you guys. Um, so yeah, the back of Goku's head looks pretty good too. Um, they don't have to do too much in the back, it's mainly just getting the shape at the front so it looks like Goku. But yeah, the fish tank's <laughs> a little dimmer today. Um, my brother's not actually here today for this review, he's normally in the background and I ask him for his feedback because he's good like that. But um, yeah, he's out at the moment, so yeah. Fish are looking good though. <laughs> well, I like them, they're nice. But yeah, um, you're not here for the fish. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so you even have Goku's tail on here, which is a nice little touch, which is accurate. Because he has it when he's in the, the Dragon, original Dragon Ball series, until he gets LC removed later on. Um, but yeah, have a quick look at the sides here. Even Goku's hair at the side looks good. Uh, they got that down. Um, they've even got Goku's little, like, um, sleeve gold things. I don't know what the exact name of them is. Just training gloves, uh, training like sleeves, armbands, that's the word I'm looking for. But yeah, on both side hands. I really like his hand that has the power pole. I think the way they've got him holding it, it's a good stance. And I really like the way, um, it, considering they were making Kid Goku, it's nice that they actually considered putting Nimbus with him as well. I'm really happy Nimbus is on this figure. And I think it looks really good actually, like aesthetically. I think the designs are real, really good. They've even got the little like swirl there to connect it together. It look like he's moving. So yeah, and they even got that little holder on Goku's back. That brown one. But it's a light, so you can see it. But yeah. Um, okay, on to the rating. Uh, design wise, considering they added Nimbus in, and Goku's really on point, looking good. I'd give it a 10 for a design, 10 out of 10. Um, I personally really do like it. Um, personally, for my personal pop score, which if you don't know, it's basically where I review my pop and just review its conditioning and its craftsmanship and its painting work. Um, I noticed a couple of um, little painting errors on this one. There's a minor one with the eyebrow, but you can kind of let that go, because um, it's obviously mass produced. Uh, there's a little kind of fade there, you can probably see that, with the black on his hair, which isn't too bad from a distance, but you do notice it up close. And on the back of his head, I don't think my camera can pick this up, but um, there's like some little like strange like little bits on his head. You can't really see it because it's quite dark with the black paint, but um, there's a couple of little um, kind of ripple. They're not really big, they're kind of really like kind of slight, but it's noticeable if you're actually looking at it up close. Um, 
yeah, I noticed there's a couple of little bits. There's one bit on his hand, which isn't that great. But um, and then there's a couple of little snags on his arms, but that doesn't really, from a distance, like like most, pretty much all pops that I, I own so far. Um, when I look at them at a distance, they look awesome. I really like them. But when you look at them up close, well, this one particularly, I can notice a few little like kind of errors, but it's not really a problem. I, I it doesn't really bother me to be honest, unless unless it was like really, unless it's like a huge mistake, and I can see it from a distance and I don't like it then it's not going to really make me that unhappy, but I'm going to probably give it, um... Oh, I'm trying to think of what number I want to give it. I'd probably give it a 6. Uh, I was thinking of giving it a 7, but there's quite a few little errors here. And, um, it doesn't make it bad. Like, each pop's different. And that's how it works. But anyway, yeah. 6 out of 10 is my score for my personal pop. But, um, as a pop itself, I love the design. I think it's really lovely. And it's nice to have um, a couple of old Dragon Ball ones for the old school fans. And um, maybe I'll review Bulma in the future. <laughs> I think we're all looking forward to that one. Uh, just so you know, um, well, I thought I'd just say, um, for my 100 sub special, I'm going to open up a special pop vinyl. Like quite a rare one. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Don't forget to like the video. It really does help me get out there and it helps my channel out a lot. Um, so yeah. <laughs> If you did enjoy the video, please slap a like, like down below. Let me know what you thought of the pop in the comment section also. And if there's any other kind of pops you want me to open in the future, um, just say and I'll probably consider just getting them out right if I don't already have them to open. But anyway, my name's Uli and I'll catch you in my next video. Or next pop binder review if you're just here for pops. <laughs> anyway guys, have a nice day. I'm out guys.